you, Mr. Speaker. I, I don't think I can even yell at the Human Services Minister today. <laughs> this is a good day. This is a fantastic day. I am so honored to be joined by so many guests in the gallery today who represent the diversity within the PDD community. They are a nonpartisan group of people whose lives are personally impacted by decisions made by this government. And so a thank you to our Human Services Minister. And please, if you could take this time to tell us what the plan is moving forward now that we have ended SIS. The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And thank you, member, for not yelling. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is, every once in a while, when she will look at her own government policies, she would feel like yelling. <laughs> but as I said, uh, sport intensity scale was used only to measure uh, what the amount of money people get. There is functional assessment in place. And we will continue to work with our partners in the community to make sure that we get it right. First supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, again, to the Human Services Minister, we have some really wonderful advocates here in the gallery. And uh, I will ask you respectfully if you can take the time to speak to them so that going forward, the process we do put in place is respectful to everyone. Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Member. I can assure the House that that has been my approach. I have been working with the advocates. I can point to Safety Standard 8, where we consulted almost 2,000 Albertans, and I'm pretty sure that all of these advocates were part of that consultation. So going forward, that's the thing I'm committed to do. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I don't really know what to ask next, but to say thank you on behalf of all the people we've worked with in the PDD. Thank you. Honourable Minister. You're welcome and thank you. <laughs>